for many centuries in the ancient world, Persia was at war with the Roman and Greek empires. These empires prevented one another to invade the other countries situated further east, such as India or China, uh, or further to the west, such as uh, Britain and Scandinavia. And okay. okay, Alexander the Great uh, invaded Persia around uh, 302 BC. But um, they became so much absorbed. I mean, Alexander the Great uh, army became so uh, much absorbed and were weakened uh, by the Persian influence uh, that stopped them going further to the east. We can assume that people in the Far East would have been speaking Greek today uh, had the Persian not resisted as they had. Uh, wars, not, uh, wars are not always of too much benefit to those engaged since uh, it does not, uh, it does, it does tend to diminish the resources of those countries involved. One of the main reasons both the Persian and Roman empires vanished were that they had become weak after fighting each other for so many years. Several events from the 4th uh, to 6th uh, centuries mark the transitional period during which the Roman empires east and west were divided and the Persians were defeated by the Arabs. Two decades uh, long between uh, Sasanian dynasty and the Romans had exhausted the two uh, empires' resources and contributed to major uh, territorial losses during Arab conquest of Persia, Egypt, uh, and Syria to the Arabs. Before the Arab conquest, many countries to the west of Persia and uh, Persia had their own languages cultures and identities. The Arabs managed to impose their own language, religion, and culture in every country that they had invaded. Before the Arab invasion, the language, uh, the languages, religions, and cultures in Morocco, Algeria, Libya, Egypt, Syria, Lebanon, Iraq and Jordan were not uh, the same as uh, they are today. Each of uh, these countries had their own languages, cultures, and uh, religion. Uh, as for Persia and uh, the countries uh, to the east of Persia, such as Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, China, and to the north of uh, Persia, such as Russia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, and other countries uh, further to the north or east, uh, things are a lot different. Uh, today, we see that uh, each and every country to the north and east of Persia speak their own languages and practice their own culture. For two centuries after the Arab invasion of Persia, they were trying to impose their own language. But fortunately, the Persian resistance enabled them uh, to practice the Persian language and culture. Uh, also have uh, some uh, we also had some influence on the arab invaders in such a way that many arabic words today uh, have uh, derived have been derived from the persian language